video guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WA Super God video. This is episode 157. Um, it's going to be quite a short episode guys, because internet is still, you know, being very weird. I didn't, again, I didn't upload yesterday and I apologise for that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to get it sussed out. Hopefully in the next couple of days. So that will be okay. Quick couple of things that I want to announce really at the beginning of the video as well. I'm going to be starting work really soon again. Which is going to be good for me, but it's also going to be very hard again to try and get videos up every day. And to try and do all these streams that I said I wanted to do. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to try and upload four to five videos a week. I think I think five. I think five is where I'm going to go with. Um, and then we'll try and do like three or four streams a week as well. But that's where I'm, you know, I'm just wanting to let you guys know. But let's get into Team Battleground because this is win number 11. Um, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so this is a team that we can't find. So people, well, people on my team think they're a bot team, which is very, very likely uh, to be. I'm actually on 999 points. It's pretty funny. Uh, we've got five attacks left, so we're going to do these five attacks in the video. I'm going to show you guys Team RTG, show you where we are on. Um, but yeah, five attacks. So I can attack the first guy, but my team, couple people on my team, I don't think I sussed out that um, when when you're sure about getting the win, just like we are right now, um, just attacking like you know like everybody targeting the top like four, three, four, five people. And then just leaving all of the others with like zero attacks is not kind of not what you want to do because then people will have some attacks left over and you won't be able to get the fifteen thousand points. Um, so it's a bit that that kind of thing we need to talk about more in the team. As you can see, like all these bottom people have only been attacked once, and that was all me uh, except well, Gustavo actually. But oh, and uh, the epic man. But I did attack Bone, uh, the Viper, Liam. <clears throat> GFGT I attacked him five times, had no attacks on. I was just like, okay, well let me choose one of these guys, because I have to choose one of them, you know. Um, but obviously I didn't want to use all my attacks on someone who'd already been quite uh, attacked quite a bit. And I'm gonna kinda do the same thing here. Uh, we'll go with an attack on the Viper. <clears throat> because I just know other people in my team will be like, okay, top guys, easy win, I wanna get all the points. And then so I'm not saying everyone. I'm not saying everyone. It's not. It's no one's fault. We just need to talk um, more. More strategy, really. But 11 and 0. You know, I'm really happy with that. Eventually, if we can get it sussed out a bit more, that'd be good. But I like it. I like. I like our ground. I know I've mentioned it quite a bit, but it is. It is. <clears throat> it's really good. It's like with the events, with the team events, with everything. Now you're just getting this this really easy card to get um, in in the WrestleMania for the battleground, and it's kind of like making King of the Ring. Uh, quite quite useless because King of the Ring, it's a pain in the ass getting your energies, doing this, just you know scheduling it properly so it doesn't you know get into the contender brackets when you're sleeping or at work, school or whatever you know you guys have to do. So that King of the Ring is very tricky sometimes, and I know a lot of people don't like King of the Ring at all. So that's why background is really good. Um, 6,148 points, I hope my team aren't just like, oh fuck it, we're going to win and not attack, because, yeah, I I, the leader, I know we don't get any prizes, but I do like the fact um, that there's a leaderboard and then we can see how good we are. We're in the top 200 right now, um, but yeah, normally we get into about top 100 uh, once we get our points, like just after the end of the claim. Team event, Team RTG, we are on Heath Slater, baby. Which is a pro, which is awesome. Um, he's got kids. I think you guys all knew that. I don't know, but he has. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that because Heath. There's actually a really long story behind Ultimate Heath. Um, I'm gonna get into a game and explain. So, like my most viewed, or like yeah, I think it's my most viewed video, um, which I want to talk about because it's actually quite funny. Um, and it is my first video that got what uh, 50,000 views, which is really awesome. So thank you to all of you guys. Who still watched that video, which is my 30,000 credit WrestleMania pack opening? It's gotten like 2,000 views in like the last like three, four days, and that is two months old. But I do, do I do a pack opening, and my first pack, I get Ultimate Heath Slater. But I was covering my eyes, and it was the guessing game, and it takes me about 10 minutes to guess to guess. Sorry, to guess Heath Slater. He was just he was a job. He wasn't doing anything like. You know, I just com I just completely forgotten about him. You know, it was after his title reign with Rhino, and I was just like, 
who who could it be? A yellow arrow on SmackDown to in attack? Who is it? And I literally couldn't think of him. So I know that part was very boring, and a lot of those com a lot of, a lot of comments like um, talk about how long it took me to guess that Heath Slater. And since I was having pulled a Heath Slater or gotten any kind of Heath Slater until today, we're ever going to get another one which will make a pro. And we can put it all behind us about that whole story. But if you guys want to check out that video, um, yeah, it is my most viewed video. It's pack opening. It's a cool video because we get some cool WrestleMania cards. But uh, that Heath Slater was pretty funny. Anyway, um, so yeah, normally we come down like four hours to go, five hours to go, and we're like we're like on the elite card still or something like that. So it's a really nice, um, refreshing kind of feeling to have ten hours left and to already be on the ultimate card. Hopefully we can just get this ultimate card over the way, like, you know, like quickly done. I haven't got the most points, um, because I actually fell asleep really early last night, and just couldn't play, I was exhausted. So I didn't, I didn't it starts at like 11.30, um, I needed to try and get into a good sleep pattern, because work coming soon, so I was just like, you know, I'll play today. So I'm playing today. Um, but yeah, it's good. My team did great. I'm going to give a huge shout out to everyone because uh, really there are a couple people in the team who, uh, who have really, really done well over the last couple of events and who deserve a good shout out because you guys are awesome in the team. Um, I really thought for a second the team was going to be very hard to get back on track when uh, we missed out on the um, Randy Orton in the team RTG last time. So I thought it was going to fall apart, but we managed to get it back, which is really cool got some good grinders in it. If you guys are WrestleMania 33 to and how, would like to join the team, it's currently full, but uh, hit me up on Twitter because whenever we need a spot for the team, I'll be announcing it on Twitter in my YouTube videos and all of that. But yeah, if you guys do want a spot, hopefully, um, hopefully, you know, I won't, I won't ever be like, oh, we need a spot because I, this team's right now is good, but you know, we do want to change it up as well down the line, but Maybe for now we'll just keep it the way it is. Why are we going to change a team that's winning? You know what I mean? It makes no sense. It doesn't really make sense. You don't change something that wins. But if we do, maybe, you know, if we do less good, maybe we can look to change a couple things here and there. Um, apart from that, that's pretty much all. Raw was last night, um, which I didn't watch because, God, it seemed boring um, when I watched it on YouTube, uh, like the highlights. But, yeah, I didn't watch it. Obviously, as I said, I fell asleep. But... I literally, like, you could, okay, you can choose to watch the three-hour version of Raw, which will guarantee, like, to put you to sleep or just to bore you to death, or you can watch the five-minute version of Raw, which is going onto the YouTube channel of WWE and literally watching a minute 30 to two-minute segment highlights, which pretty much gets you completely up-to-date on what's happened on an episode of Raw, because, I mean, th ah, it... It seemed really bad. Roman Reigns winning clean again against Seth Rollins. Um, it's just, it's just awful, 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 awful. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Really do appreciate it. I'm sorry for the uploading hasn't been fantastic recently. You know when I do, and but understand, guys, it's not in my power. I can't change that right now. But I hopefully we'll get some more videos, guys out for you very soon. If you guys have enjoyed it, do drop a like, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow for a brand new video. So then take care, most importantly, peace out.